Hello everybody, this is Lou with Track Ops. And today we're going to take a look at creating a document template by using Google Docs. Now, Track Ops document template feature does support OpenOffice and Microsoft Word. And so today we're going to take a look at using a Microsoft Word template in Google Docs to create a document template that we can then upload into Track Ops. Now, there's several reasons why you'd probably want to use a document template if you didn't know before. Uh, you can use it for any sort of finalized reports, letters, forms, and a lot of folks we find use it for affidavits. So this is a quick and easy way to pull the data that you put into Track Ops and put it into a format that you're comfortable with or a product that you want to gift to your client uh, during the course or at the end of the investigation. I've created a basic outline of the report I want to create to display this concept. I have my fancy logo here. I have added some headers I'm bolded, underlined, kind of got it to to the point where I'm I'm about ready to finish it up. And you might have recognized some of these items as our variables. And these variables are the important pieces of information uh, that uh, that that queries that data from Track Ops and then would put it into your report. And I do have a couple that do have to drop in here, and we're going to take a look at that here in just a second. Let's go ahead and find these variables. So let's hop on over to Track Ops or on the settings page. You're going to want to click on document templates. And the easiest way to do it is just to start a new document template, since we're going to do that anyway. We'll just call this Google Docs. For now, we're going to click on View Template Variables to get this information. So there's one or two ways to pull these variables over. You can type them out. Uh, and if to type them specifically as they're listed here with the brackets and the capitalization and the punctuation, because if, if you do that incorrectly, then the variables aren't going to work. Uh, the other way is to copy and paste it over. And that's what we're going to do right now. Now we're going to copy it here. Then we want to paste it is right click on the mouse and paste without formatting. So if you paste it normally, it will pull over any sort of elements from the, from the web page that will potentially make it difficult for the document template to function properly. So the other one I needed is the evidence of fraud. And just kind of rinse repeat this real quick. And cell phone. This one's on the subject type. The first two are on the case type. All right, and the final one is on the subject. It's the subject cell phone, so it's going to be under the subject section. And there it is. All right, so let me just copy this. We'll pull it over and put it where I want it. Great, so that looks just about right. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to save this by downloading it as a Microsoft .docx. All right, so now let's head on over to this page. I'll upload the file I just downloaded, the Google Docs template. There it is. And then the important thing is to make sure that this template is available for the case types that I want it for. So in most cases, I kind of need this document template for all of the case types I work. Go ahead and save that. Great, so I see it there. Now I'm going to hop on over to the case that I've been working and generate this uh, generate this document. I click on the New button, and I go to New Document. There it is. There Google Docs. And then Generate. All right, and it popped up. Now let's take a look and see if this has all the information I need. All right, so I see that the variables have generated and pulled all the data from Track Ops and has put it in the place that I want it to be. That looks pretty good. Great. So there you have it. That is creating a document template by using Google Docs and the .docx file type. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll catch you next time with another quick tip. 
for using track ops.